Hi, I am Lens Valles, your CNN Digital producer with the Outfront Recap, a look back at the best moments from this week's Aaron Burnett Outfront. We start with the Supreme Court and same-sex marriage, a polarizing issue that is bringing families together, but also tearing them apart. It's about family. It's about procreation. It's about, you know, uh, values. He's not going to be a second uh, citizen uh, in any way. Except you can't get married in, according to your beliefs. According to what I believe, yeah. I mean, I, I'm against it. Yeah, I am. I, I have my reasons, you know, and I believe strongly in those reasons. What is it like for you to hear your father speak? It's just kind of really hard to hear him say stuff like that, but I know it's a process for everyone. I don't think he realizes how much it hurts me individually that he does not support gay marriage because I would like to get married one day and I would want him to be there. And a major American university finds itself under the microscope. Students say rapes are being ignored and demand the federal government to investigate. She told me rape is like football and if you look back on the game, um, what would you have done differently in that situation? Did you feel like you were being blamed for this? Absolutely. And get this. Italy's highest court wants Amanda Knox to stand trial for murder again. Aaron asks, can she avoid it? Definitely not. And it's not just the double jeopardy. You know, we have it, they don't. But the, the lack of facts, and that's what goes into an extradition. So luckily she's going to stay here. That's the good news today. It's the only good news today. <laughs> Wendy, extradite, uh, yes or no? Look, she's obviously never going there because she knows she'd be convicted because she deserves to be convicted. That's why she's whining about, I'm not going back. She will be tried in absentia. She will be found guilty. There will be an extradition warrant issued for her. And I hope this country has the political wherewithal to ship her over there. Is Victoria's Secret's pink ad too provocative for teens? Some parents think so. Aaron gets to the bottom of the story. So is this really harmful to girls or is this just life? Well, first of all, I share your horror of the word panties, Erin. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think all women do. Men, for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> Secondly, I agree, but everyone's points, Erin, about role models. Is there a way to make being a Supreme Court just as sexy? Could we put a black robe over the outfits? Could we put an astronaut helmet with your bustier? And it's been a full week of tit for tat with North Korea. Anne Burnett has the latest on Kim's latest move. Out front tonight, we have breaking news. Kim Jong-un has convened an urgent military meeting at the Supreme Command in Pyongyang and ordered rockets to be on standby for firing at American targets, including the American mainland and military bases in the Pacific and South Korea. Our military is prepared to respond to any threat or contingency. We are. We hope to avoid miscalculation, and we think that uh, we can. The North Koreans simply need to dial the temperature down. And Aaron introduces us to the world's most expensive property and reveals a little bit more about the man who gave it the green light. The Tor Odeon is such a big deal that it needed the approval of the current monarch, Prince Albert, to begin construction. We think there's a reason Prince Albert approved the building. He could be the only person in the country who can afford it. The penthouse is set to be the most expensive property in the world with a price tag of $380 million. So I wanted to see if Prince Albert really could pay that. So I did what anyone would do. I Googled Prince Albert. Why don't you do that and see why it ruined my day? I am Lens Valles with your Outfront Recap. For more Aaron Burnett Outfront stories, please go to cn.com slash Outfront.